five-year-old Pakistani girl forced into marriage, but an investigation was ordered. Last October in Pakistan, a five-year-old Baluchi girl was forced into a marriage contract. On November 1st, a federal Sharia court in Pakistan instructed an officer representing Baluchistan province to submit a report on the marriage, as well as an overview of the practice of child marriage and what steps are being taken to stop it in the region. The girl's father secretly taped the exchange, insisting that the girl was too young. He couldn't stop the marriage due to local and tribal pressure. Still, he filed a police report and included the video as evidence. Local police have arrested two suspects who arranged the marriage. They are still looking for the cleric who officiated the ceremony. If convicted, they could serve a six-month sentence. Okay, that blows my mind. Um, reports say that the young girl has been recovered. Good news. Women's rights organization uh, Shikathga said the country fails to prevent many child marriages because they simply aren't registered. Lawyer Kish, uh, Kishwar Zehra says the country's religious right is the most prominent opposition to creating laws to safeguard children from marriage. The Council on Islamic Ideology has publicly opposed any law setting a minimum age for girls. Okay, so this is good news because they investigated and stopped this? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl has reportedly so, been recovered. They've made arrests. They're searching out for the person that officiated this, allowed this to happen. So actually seeing a very thorough response from the authorities. I mean, I don't want to poo-poo your good news, but this is the fact that our version of good news for Pakistan is that they were trying to marry a five-year-old, but hey, it didn't happen. Like, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna poo-poo this for you. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying my best. Yes, okay. Oh my god. They were trying to marry a five-year-old. This is the version. So, guys, like we're tr really trying, okay? But I guess the best thing we could do for Pakistan, if something horrible that was supposed to happen did not happen, this is how what we can get out of mm -hmm. Pakistan. But yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we, we will get what we can take. One thing um, that I just want to point out is that Pakistani Defense Force in our live chat frequently likes to accuse particularly Armin of anti-Pakistani racism. But here he is saying that tribal people are not Pakistani. Oh, this is this. They is are so part. Racist. They are they are nationals. They are citizens of Pakistan. They are Pakistani. They are Pakistani nationals. This is so racist. Look at this. This is a person that accuses other people of being racist, and he's saying stop mixing Balochistan with civilized areas of Pakistan. And he was screaming at you because Horace said that Pakistan is. Oh my God, this person who calls other people racist considers Baluchi people beneath himself to even consider he's denying them citizenship of Pakistan because of their ethnicities. Look at this. He says Baluchis aren't real Pakistan. So he's denying them their nationality because of their ethnicity. Holy, this is so disgusting. Guys, Pakistan is a nation filled with many different ethnicities. One of these ethnicities being Baluchis. And he says because of their ethnic identity, he doesn't consider them to be part of Pakistan. This is like saying black people are not real Americans. Or this same person, if I said like in the UK, Pakistanis are not like pa Pakistanis, this person would call me a racist rightfully so if i said uk citizens from pakistan's are not real uk citizens like you guys all should all call me racist if i said anything like that because of people's background and he himself like they are they get so offended if pakistanis are seen below like americans or you know europeans but they themselves see, like he himself see himself above Baluchis. Unbelievable. That oh my is God. so vile. So Here. vile and racist. Jesus Christ.
Shame. I think here's the deal. In the tribal areas of Pakistan, there is a lot less development and they are greatly more conservative. That is just true. That's just true. There's a great degree of economic disadvantage, disadvantagement, what's the word I'm looking for? Disenfranchisement. Um, and that compounds a lot of these issues. And that as much as Islam is involved with this case, based on what I was reading, this does seem to be mainly, the, the case of this marriage does seem to be mainly driven by tribal dynamics and pressures from the larger tribal community for this family to do what they want. So this is um, like an insidious function of like a more collectivist culture in some ways. And this is something that does happen a lot in tribal areas. Incidences like this happen in Iran often, in the Baluchi areas, sometimes in the, um, uh, the Arab areas, like there was an honor killing that happened recently in Afaz because of um, essentially tribal pressure. So this is um, a, f a function of, of collective pressure. And um, also part of the reason why child marriage is so common in Pakistan, I think Pakistan alone, the last statistics I remember reading accounts for one fifth of child marriages in the world. Actually, I'm going to correct myself. I think the statistic I'm thinking of is actually about honor killings. So I'm going to take that back. Forget I just said that. But part of the reason why it's so frequent in Pakistan is because in particularly in tribal areas, the child marriages are used as essentially a currency to deal with inter-community issues. So if there is a murder that happens, a way that the family becomes forgiven is marrying off one of their daughters. Or if there is a debt that needs to be paid, a daughter gets married off and she essentially becomes an indentured servant or slave to the family in, you know, in, 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 in its consequence. It's like this form of enslavement it, it, to the family that she gets married off to. So it's something that is obviously enabled by religion and it's enabled by religion because it is one of the main reasons why it's so difficult to have an actual minimum age against it in Pakistan and um, it is endorsed but some of the functions in which it works um, has to do more with inter-community um, pressures so did, did that make sense yes yes um, the thing is that um, the, a lot of the Islamization or, um, you know, lack of progress in culture and a lot of these attitudes when it comes to uh, in areas around Baluchistan has nothing to do with these people being Baluch. It's mostly because of poverty and oppression and socioeconomic conditions, right? So when somebody like Pakistan, the first force comes and um, essentializes it and reduces it to race, that's what makes it racist. That's what makes it um, hateful and bigoted, right? So 100%. You, yeah, it makes it it makes it about them being Baluchis rather than the socioeconomic conditions and the poverty that they have to deal with. And mm -hmm. I just wanted to highlight the, <clears throat> the two different attitudes that you want to compare here, right? So look at this, Pakistan Defense Force is saying, do not mix Baluchi tribal people with the civilized people in main cities, right? I've never met a so, bigger hypocrite than Pakistani I've, Defense Force. I've never seen such some part, somebody who goes and accuses people of bigotry and racism and talks like this, right? Compare this attitude. So for, for people who don't know, Baluchis are an ethnicity that are across the border of Pakistan and Iran. Uh, so they're Baluchi people and also Afghanistan, but they're also they're in Pakistan and they're also in, in Iran, right? So this is Pakistan Defense Force talking about Pakistani Baluchis like this, okay? But right across the border, like somebody somebody from right across the border, look at how Mariam speaks. Compare this, okay? Mariam says, "I'm Iranian and I'm proud of our Baluchi population," right? Compare this attitude of Mariam about the Baluchi Iranian Baluchis. 
and Pakistanis defense force about Pakistani Baluchis. Just I compare. love you, Maryam. Oh my God. Yeah. She says, I love how diverse our country is. See, this is what we're talking about. And no one is under any delusions that these areas are not considerably more conservative in their practices. And I mean, I'm under no delusion that this conservatism is very traditional, backwards, like harmful, all of these things. But that's not essential to a people. All cultures came from many of these very harmful traditions at some point, but through economic advancement, we were able to leave behind these systems. These systems function the way that they do for a reason in the construction of a society. And that doesn't mean they're good, but they happen this way because of the, the, the conditions that the people live in. Like also in Iran, the Baluchistan, Sistan and Baluchistan province is considerably more conservative than the rest of the country. They look very different, but that does not make them any less Iranian. That is part of their nationality. Anyways, wow. Yeah. Also, I think this also explains a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Can you read it out loud? No, I don't want to read that out loud. Uh, <laughs> it's attitudes like Pakistani Defense Force. This is why there is one of the longest insurgencies in history ongoing oh. in the Baluchistan area of Pakistan. <laughs> Do you not see how this might fuel a little bit of the problem? Just saying. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.